Many dairy products offer a powerful nutritional punch, but up to 50 million Americans with lactose intolerance actually avoid dairy and miss out on some important nutrients. Here with help is sports dietitian for the Dallas Cowboys, Amy Goodson. She's joining us this morning from the Cowboys training facility. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Nice to have you with us on the morning blend. Let's talk a little bit about how we can best um, kind of track whether or not we're eating a balanced diet. We want Americans of all ages, children and adults, to consume a variety of nutrient-rich foods in their day. So that includes things like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, and low-fat and fat-free dairy. Those foods are going to be the ones that help you get all the vitamins and minerals that you need on a daily basis. I was reading in the information that 30 to 50 million Americans have lactose intolerance, so it affects a lot of people. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, lactose intolerance um, is, is pretty widespread, and many people don't even know they're lactose intolerant, so they might have discomfort um, eating certain foods, and they're unaware of that. But the truth is that, you know, we want them to get in dairy just like other people that can consume milk products. And so just figuring out how they can do that is, is really key. So what do you think is the best way for people to incorporate dairy products if they're lactose intolerant? There's a variety of ways that lactose intolerant people can include dairy into their day. So one of the ways is choosing foods that are naturally lower in lactose. So some of the harder cheeses like cheddar, Swiss, and Colby, uh, choosing yogurt that actually has live and active cultures in it can help you digest the lactose or the milk sugar. And then another way is really choosing dairy products that are lactose free. So today I'm partnering with Lactaid and they make a variety of products, both fat free and low-fat milk. They make cottage cheese and ice cream. So consuming those type foods help you get the protein and the calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D that you need without the discomfort from the lactose. So what kind of products do they make? It looks like in front of you I see some milk. So there's obviously a milk, right. lactate makes milk. What uh -huh. other types of dairy products? Yes, so they make milk, all kinds. Lactaid makes chocolate milk, uh, low-fat and fat-free milk. They make cottage cheese. They also make ice cream for all the people that love sweets. Uh, so those are you know, the foods that they make at Lactaid.com. You can see how these foods can be incorporated into different recipes. You know, This time of year, I'm always encouraging people to try to stay hydrated as it gets hot. So using Lactaid and or yogurt in like a, a fruit smoothie where you can mix all different types of fruits is helpful. It gets you a lot of vitamins, a lot of milk minerals and can even contribute to your daily hydration in addition to getting the protein and the dairy in. Well, I'm glad you mentioned vitamins and minerals because we all know that vitamin A and D which mm -hmm. are particularly important to us and often found in milk. Do you get the same amount of vitamins right. in a, in a um, dairy substitute or in like a lactate product? Mm -hmm. You do. In lactate, it has the nine essential nutrients that we find in milk, as you mentioned, uh, vitamin A, vitamin D, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, a variety of B vitamins. And then milk is a really great source of quality protein, as is lactate. So both are providing eight grams of protein per serving of milk or lactate milk. So that's a great way to help you get in quality protein, especially if you're an athlete or a person that likes to exercise or work out. You really need that protein to help build and repair lean muscles. Do you find that most people like the taste too? When any time you substitute something, I always wonder how it tastes. Does it take a while to get used to? You know, lactate milk is actually very similar tasting to regular milk. Most people say they can't tell a difference, and especially if you're putting it on a whole grain cereal or mixing it into a smoothie or a shake, uh, and you're blending a variety of other flavors with it. Um, if you're not a fan of just drinking plain milk, that's a great way to get it in. But again, incorporating it with fruits or whatnot to help you, uh, you know, like the flavor better. It's great information. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And if you have more questions, you can always go to lactate.com or the nationaldairycouncil.org. Both have information and different recipes. Great. Thanks, Amy. We appreciate your time. Uh -huh. Thank you. And again, that website is lactate.com.